Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the barn out here at St. Bernard Acres. It's hot, it's humid, and I have my fan going, so, you know, I love my cordless fan. They need to send me another one, but that's for another video. This is a review video for you. If you don't want to watch it, leave now. <laughs> that's all I can tell you. That's my only suggestion to you. A few months ago, All Powers sent me their 288 watt hour solar power bank, which is great. I mean, Gary used, I gave it to Gary. He's using it in, when he goes down to Alabama. Yeah, he has nothing down there yet, but his property. So he takes that and he takes my uh, inverter generator I let him borrow. That All Powers uh, solar power bank will run all of its lights at night quietly there's no generator noise there's no gasoline charge it up during the day it runs him all night long so it's perfect for that kind of application well what happens if you don't have a generator available to recharge it the next day all power sent me something to take care of that they got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to do a review on their 100 watt foldable solar panel. And I'm like, you know, I have a 200 watt foldable solar panel that goes in a bag and, you know, I also have a 100 watt foldable solar panel that folds in half and goes in a bag. What makes yours different? What makes your 100 watt solar panel different? I'm going to show you what makes it different. That's the size of it. <laughs> That's it, my friends. This is a 100-watt solar panel. Blows me away. Now, I got about 80 watts out of it in direct sunlight. So, it does put out some power. And that 288-watt-hour uh, power bank I give to, gave to Gary, this will charge it up in four or five hours if it gets good sun. You know, but not only will this charge that up, it will charge up your cell phones, it will charge up your tablets, it will charge up your laptops, you know. If you go out camping and you don't want to carry one of those bulky power stations, this is it. Keep this in your car. Keep it in your truck. You know, in a, an emergency situation, this thing is great because of the size and the portability of it it's not heavy i mean it probably weighs a few pounds but it's not so bulky that you don't want to carry it and it comes with carabiners <laughs> you, know, you can hook it onto things i have two couple of carabiners here that you could hook it on to right here you know i mean you can hook it on and carry it but you also can you know attach it to things once it's unfolded you know now this is folded up this is this unfolds to about three feet by three feet something like that i'm going to put a couple of pictures in here of it out in the the yard unfolded to give you an idea of the size i can't do it here in the barn on this table uh, and actually show you but this is cool so check out these pictures of it so this is it unfolded that's all there is to it now that sitting there is generating about 80 watts of power that's how cool that is let me show if i can see if i can get something in scale walk back a little bit all right there's the barn that's it laying on the ground waiting to charge something very nice it is really a nice package like i said it's got those 15 solar cells and plug it in right there and you are you're going this will go on top of the hood of your car if you need to or you know on top of your camper wherever you got sunlight Alright, hope that looked good enough for you. 
Um, the thing, it, it really does. It, I love it. I've not seen one of these before. So, and I am not going to go through all these specs that people do and get meters out and test all this. I'm just telling you, this thing works, you know. I took my iPhone 12, right, and it charged this. I just plugged it into the solar panel. It has its own, like, solar charge controller. Plugged it right into this, and it gave me 5% in about 10 minutes. Now, I was in good sunlight, but 5% in 10 minutes is awesome when it's just sitting there. You know, the sun is free. <laughs> Sunlight's free, and it's hitting this, and it's charging this for free. You know, you think about it. Uh, but it'll charge all kinds of devices, and 100 watts is great for a portable solar panel. Yeah, I was happy with 25 watt portables and 50 watt portables. Now you're giving me something 100 watts in this size. Crazy. So, a couple of other applications for it. Right? If your car battery dies on you while you're out camping or whatever, and you know, whatever, it dies. Right? This is not a jump starter. This isn't going to like, oh, plug it in and start your car. But this will send a charge to your battery. If, in fact, you got a dead battery. I have not tested this. But they give you these. And I'm thinking this will charge up your car battery if you want it to. I think you can charge your car battery with it if you get in a situation like that. They give you all kinds of barrel adapters, you know, in their accessory pack. Give you a little USB-C cable. I don't know why, because everything you ever get in your life has a USB-C cable now. But the cool thing about this, this thing has its own like charge controller and on the sides there the side is where if i can get this to show up in the camera you chart you plug in your usb devices you know you have dc output and you have usb devices so and you have a little pocket here to store the accessories that's not a very big pocket but it's a pocket but yeah, this thing is like totally awesome. Waterproof case. Tough case. I mean, the case feels really good too. I mean, I'm not one to, you know, it's not normally what I do in my reviews, but it's a nice tough canvas case. So yeah, I recommend these for your cars. This should be part of your, uh, emergency roadside gear in case you break down in case you're stranded somewhere you could use this to charge up your phone to get help you could use it to charge up usb flashlights you know it really could come in handy you take it camping with you you charge up your devices there and it's small and it's not heavy it's not intimidating and you get all these extras. Yes, I like this thing. I really do. Instructions. Don't eat these. I mean, it's a solar panel. I don't know how much instructions you need. But definitely worth a shot. There'll be links in my description if you want to go get one of these things. I recommend it. Yeah, you know, it's a solar panel. It's like all these LiPo batteries I'm being sent. They're all 12 volt, 100 amp hour LiPo batteries. What makes them different? I don't know. The types of batteries, cells, BMSs, I don't know. You know, but feel free to keep sending them to me. <laughs> I'll keep using them. You know, trust me on that one. But yeah. This isn't a review channel, but I appreciate you watching this. And like I said, this could really help somebody out. 
This is easy to store inside your apartment or, you know, whatever. If the power goes out, hang this off your balcony. You know, at least you can charge up your devices. That's the important thing is portable power is what it is. And it's not the power bank that, you know, if you have the 200 watt power bank or the 288 watt hour power bank that Gary had, and I gave to Gary, once that's depleted, if you don't have any place to recharge it, it's not doing you any good. That's where this comes in handy. And it's not a big bulky solar panel. So th there is definitely a market for this. I really, I really believe that. I think it's great. Appreciate y'all watching. Keep hanging around because I'm going to do more. You know that. <laughs> anyway, this is Joe out here at the barn at St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.